Look, you guys, I am so glad he actually chose a very simpler stage name because if we were to call him by his name you would definitely swallow your tongue and then i don't know what i'll tell you guys anyway all the way from mzansi let's welcome one the coolest kid in africa let me let me call him <laughs> that he's also an ivison he also is a singer songwriter a rapper and a record label producer you guys let's <laughs> welcome nasty c in the building hey What's up? It's welcome nasty. thank you for having me yeah oh, wow. I'm, I'm just going to say this because you're here mm -hmm. three years ago i came across said i like I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know yes that happened Thank but you. i became a big fan of yours i loved you. i loved your flow the way you i don't know i just became a crazy fan of yours so when i had you coming i was like cool thank god it's in <laughs> awesome. my lifetime yeah yeah i'm happy to be here yeah, yeah. welcome to kenya thank you and what? we're asking you mm -hmm. which words do you know that absolutely just have to start from there. <laughs> yeah. what have you learned in kenya which words so it was asante uh -huh. jambo uh -huh. karibu uh -huh. there was one more wasn't it uh -huh. yeah which one i forgot it <laughs> I, I'm looking at you and the first uh -huh. thing I, I, I remember is just like the first time I stumbled on your song was actually Kula Skid in Africa yeah. by David O mm -hmm. and then later got to meet you with Roland and it was beautiful when you did that song. How yeah. did I? Oh, oh my god I'm like <laughs> listen I hope it's a true song not because I'm a sadist. Oh it is. Oh, it, is. it is? It is yeah 100%. Please tell us about the inspiration behind that song. Um, Everything is kind of in there already. Um, so it was a real life story, real yeah. life event, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, things that I went through with my girlfriend and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. Okay, yeah. but let's go back to where you come from, Zulu. Yeah. You being Zulu, mm -hmm. um, and right now you're a very successful person. You know, you've achieved so much at a young age, and yeah. you have. You are actually a global artist. So let's talk about the beginning before you were right. nasty. See, right. let's talk about that. How did yeah. it start? Was music always part of what you wanted to do? Or family? Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, before I, I paid attention to music at all, mm -hmm. um, music was just kind of like in the background to me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's something that my father always played music in the car. Um, I was a church going boy, so I always had to sing in the choir, like Sunday school choir and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then this one day on my way to school, I saw a music video with T.I. in it. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's the first time I really paid attention to what was happening and what was being said in the song and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I saw all this jewelry, the nice clothes, the fancy cars and stuff <laughs> like that. And I started to pay like more mm -hmm. attention to that specific genre, right? And it just so happened to be hip hop. And um, yeah, I've just been finding more and more ways to relate to it. And, you know, have fun with it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. yeah. And speaking about seeing T.I. do yeah. all that, and then you, later you get to work with with this man on two tracks. Crazy, right? Which I know all in, my God. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, so he was actually in South Africa in Cape Town. They were shooting a movie. And I guess he heard about me, and he reached out to me on Instagram. He was like, yo, I'm in the, I'm in the country right now. Just riding around listening to your song. Yeah. I love your music. If ever you want to work, just hit me up, man. I'm down for it. And this time, he didn't even know I was a fan. Mm -hmm. He didn't even know that he's the reason I made music, period. Oh <laughs> so which was really dope, man, because it was, like, mm -hmm. real natural and organic. And um, fast forward to this day, we have two songs we've met. I've been to his um, museum. Mm -hmm. I've worked with his son. You know, we have a, a, a real relationship he's like my, my big bro like uh, uncle i never had uh -huh. yeah. but when was your big break when when did that happen like when was it like you know whoa mm -hmm. i'm here i'm in this my big break it's happening yeah like when i started playing on tv and radio yeah. And stuff yeah like when i was 17 i think mm -hmm. 17 going on to 18. Mm -hmm. so i dropped this song called juice back mm -hmm. and yeah. it just so happened to, to blow up and go viral and stuff like that mm -hmm. and that's when i really started to get like airplay uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. but then you are signed under jeff def jam yes, and i think yes, you're I one of the few artists in africa yeah. that have been signed under such a big giant record label mm -hmm. uh, would you say the reason we don't have as you know like a big big artist so many of them is because we don't have you know labels that put money in this artist uh we don't have big artists as we do like we do oh, have oh. big artists but they're not like so many not like oh, in the yeah, States. Yeah. You, can, you can name like a hundred you know um you know what i think we actually do have like a lot of big artists it's just that our industry is not as as africa our industry is not as present in the social media space as they are yeah they're glued to their phones right and they have like all free data and stuff like that so they can post about anything anytime yeah. you know what i mean we have a lot of artists that 
have a true bond with their fans, but they're not really in touch with the whole social media. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, back at home in Durban, <clears throat> or in KZN, should I say, we have, like, gospel artists who do crazy numbers, mm-hmm. yeah. right? But because they're not on social media, nobody really knows about them. But if you if you go to the actual townships and some of the rural areas, mm-hmm. that's all they listen to. So I think we do have artists who are as big. It's just that we don't see them on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. So wow. let me ask you this. Where you come from, how has it influenced the music that you do and how you um, relate with people? Because right now you're global, you get. You're yeah. international. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> how, th- how does your roots and... Uh, um, you, your environment, how you grew up, influence what you do right now? I don't, I don't think it has at all. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no, okay. I, I don't think it has. I think, uh-huh. I think my roots mostly influence the person I am mm-hmm. and just how I carry myself and how I treat people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not so much my music. My music is very far from... My, my Where you come hits. from? Yeah, wow. very far. Okay, how uh, far? It's a whole Can you tell universe. us like what? Okay, tell us one <coughs> thing about where you come from, and one thing about okay. your music that makes it two different things. So, mm-hmm. I come from a very traditional background. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So very Zulu orientated, mm-hmm. very um, like in touch with your roots type thing, your ancestors and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And then if you look at hip hop, yeah, it's not like that at all. Whole different, total Uh different. Yeah. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, And speaking about ethnicity and and being from Zulu community, uh, there's a video that went viral of one of your members of Parliament, South African member of Parliament, uh, Mm -hmm. Malema. It was basically saying that. I think Swahili should be taught in, in, in high school, in schools, because, I mean, that's the only language, not like the only, I mean, if we, st- we talk about English, yeah. we've been colonized by, you know, the Englishman, right, you know, yeah, yeah. and of course, when <coughs> we are dialecting, when we are talking to them and they're like, oh, we, we, they understand, right? Yeah. So do you feel sometimes like you lose your authenticity as an African when you rap in English? Not at all. Yeah? Not at all, no. I don't look at it like that, mm-hmm. you know, fortunately. Um, for me, it's like a, it's a, it's a way to communicate. Mm-hmm. You know, we use yeah. phones to make phone calls. How come we don't feel like we're ro- losing our roots because we didn't make these f- these phones? <laughs> yeah, and stuff like that. we can't Smoke. speak without Smoke. them. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to get someone else to understand me, and if I have to speak mm-hmm. another language for that to happen, so be it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm one person who loves to inspire people, and you know, mm-hmm. based on your story, it seems like you you know you've had your fair share of life. Yeah. And of course, highs and lows of life. Yeah. So um. Uh, what was that point <coughs> that you were so low and mm-hmm. how are you able to come out of it? Because you inspire a lot of people. So for anyone who's watching you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think most of my like super low moments happened before this whole music thing even happened uh, mm-hmm. for me. It was around the time where I was like battling with school, mm-hmm. social issues, didn't really have a lot of confidence in myself, mm-hmm. uh, low self-esteem, stuff like that. You know, normal teenager stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think... The one thing that I really, that was like a lifeline for me was music. Mm. Yeah. And just like looking at my idols and constantly just like reading over their, their come up stories and how they come from nothing and made it into these multi-millionaires that we idolize from all the way across the world. Mm. You know, and I figured if that could happen for him, yeah. it could happen for me too. Wow. You know what I mean? yeah. and, and, and of course you've won really many awards, big, big awards, BET, yeah. Afrima, all, all this. I haven't really a, won a BET. A, a, this a is BT. something that people oh, You were nominated. <laughs> Thank you guys for you getting it. You were nominated. But you will get, amen, you guys, amen. amen. Yeah, so yeah, I don't even have to get it now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 amen, you gonna get that. But what you've got all that and all these plaques, but what do awards really mean to you as Nasty C? I'd say awards to me as Nasty C don't really mean that much, Mm -hmm. right? I value them because they mean the world to my fans. Mm -hmm. Because my fans are the guys that sit at home and they watch the whole show. My fans are the ones that use their own airtime to vote for me and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like, I'm I'm not gonna let someone who doesn't make music, doesn't understand what it takes for me to make a song, Mm -hmm. doesn't understand the hours that I put into making these songs and the emotion that I put into it, the time I put into it, me sharing my personal stories. I'm not going to let that person judge how good my music is against some other guy who I don't even know. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's true. Yeah, I you look know, at it like that. Okay, let's do this. We are almost going on a break. So, yeah. um, in five <coughs> words, who's nasty? Five words? Five words. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, describe yourself in five words. Yeah, that's easier. Yeah. A very talented, <laughs> passionate, uh-huh. uh, 
respectful man. I guess. Yay! I've yeah. never heard of someone using respectful you as know? a man. Yeah. Like, wow. I'm like, he let us know on triple one, so triple admirable. four, triple one. That's our SMS line. Send in the questions because yeah. Nastis is here and we're yeah. going to be asking everything. We're going to take a short commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Absolutely. Mm. Okay. Black and white. Okay, we'll see what's popping. <laughs> but you know, we're happy when people come around and then they come with, you know, some surprises, you know, yes. things that we weren't expecting to see. I mm -hmm. think you should actually uh -huh, introduce. I know, I'm like, so what do you have for us today? Yes. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. I, have, I have a, a nice surprise for you guys today. I brought a very special vocalist, mm -hmm. uh, artist of mine, mm -hmm. um, someone I featured on a song that did very well, especially here in Kenya too. Um, mm -hmm. The fans seem to love it. Mm -hmm. The song is called SMA and the person I'm talking about obviously is... Rowling. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh, today so we're having the walking. Uh-huh. Alright, all right, there we go. Oh, oh respectable. Wait, shall, shall, shall? Yeah, there we go, there yeah. we go. <laughs> wow, okay. Like okay. a gentleman, I'll we stand We see, on. we see what yeah. you did I'm over there. Than you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rolin, it's nice to have you here in Africa. Thank what you so are you much. doing? Okay, you're of course in yeah. Africa, but what are you guys like <clears throat> doing here in Kenya? Well, I came to create, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm always creating, but I trust that the vibe and place and just being here, it's just curating a whole different scene for So you're actually collaborating opinion. with other kids. Oh yes, artists. definitely, definitely, mm. definitely. Can we like trying get to be in uh -huh. here. Who's y'all are working with? I personally okay. already okay. have a song with my favorite like mm -hmm. artist from here right now, mm -hmm. uh, Xenia Manasse. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm currently working with Karun as well. Mm -hmm. I'm low-key working on another project, but I'm still pushing my album. Okay. But as aforementioned, I'm consistently working on music and it's not really like stigmatized or directed at having a project so mm -hmm. it's just me making music and, and savoring the moment mm -hmm. yeah let's talk about you guys working together you know mm -hmm. uh -huh. first where did you guys meet then of how course. did it go <laughs> we met uh -huh. in cape town yeah. uh, -huh. mm -hmm. uh like five six years ago something uh -huh. like that he tells the story way better so you I was just oh you are a <laughs> great storyteller <laughs> yeah it's okay okay, okay Roland, uh -huh. i just doing. met through a mutual <laughs> friend like it's really that simple uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we met through a mutual friend that mm. was also kind of coming up at the time. We were all still like bubbling under, figuring out what it is. He was obviously somewhat established. Yeah. And I was dropping music on SoundCloud and this other friend that I had, our mutual friend, was just super supportive, still is super supportive. Yeah. And he insisted that I get to know his former team at the time. Mm. And I did. Oh, what did say I did? <laughs> fast forward. Yeah, fast forward. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but yeah. then, <laughs> when you did SMA, send me away, I, I had it figured. It was send me away. Yeah, but she of only course just figured was like, that out. Wow, S <laughs> it was right was under like, my nose, but it's for? fine. It's fine. What? I get it. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. <laughs> but I can sing the song. Yo, don't, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Me you. But seriously, so did he tell you about his heartbreak so that you could get, you know, like We actually don't share experiences. Like that, like we that. just make songs, man. Mm -hmm. So and how did way, you this know song, the story? This is like five like, years old. We this song met was like, like a year, not even that same year. It took us three years to make this song. Oh my! Oh yeah, to finish, yeah, to, finish, to, finish to finish it, to finish it, to finish it. Yeah, you to finish it. A heartbreak for the three years. You know? No. <laughs> see what happened. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no. Nah, what happened years. was uh -huh. so okay. So all right. So we we make the idea of the song pretty much like the chorus and the bridge and stuff like that. And it's just like very rough, right? There's even like she's giggling on the on right. It's just there's no verses whatsoever. <laughs> and then okay, so we just kind of keep it in the can and we we do our thing, we keep working, da 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 da. da. And then three years down the line, I decide, you know what? Let me finish this song. This song's still like stuck in my mind. After three years, it definitely has to be something, mm -hmm. right? So then I go back and I like try and figure out what I want to make it about. And then it just so happens that I have a very real story that goes with the hook like perfectly. So mm -hmm. then I just finished it like that. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. Nasty though. Yeah. Okay. Jay Z rocking your merchandise. How was that? Oh no, you? that was not real. It wasn't. It was. It was. I was about to say what? No, that <laughs> was not real. Man. But he pranked you. That wasn't real as well. That wasn't real either. I pranked people. I saw. <sighs> You guys have to stop believing everything you see. <laughs> I, I know, know how much right? time, by the way. Uh -huh. So he'd be pranking yeah. you. I didn't even know when. No, these like, these are, are you for me. These are like, <laughs> I mean, like are you prank serious him. now or I would never him. prank him because yeah. the backlash. Oh my yeah, it would be terrible. <laughs> be terrible. I'd wake up with no hair or something. It like, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's oh really bad. No, I wouldn't do that. You're That's that's taking it way too far. I wouldn't do that. But let's talk about you know you being in Kenya. What's popping? Why are you in there too far? Um. 
I mean, we're here just to catch a vibe, you know. We wanted to be away from home for a little bit just to be around some some good energy, mm -hmm. you know, be in a place that we love to come to, but also just to come create, man, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and we figured, why not Kenya? We've been here a couple times, mm -hmm. but we never really stayed, like, an extensive period. So we were like, okay, cool, this time we'll make it, like, three weeks, and we'll just see what happens. So yeah. you're here for vacation. It's a vacation, but we're working too. But still so working like, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know how to vacation. <laughs> yeah. but, enjoy. but you did a lot of uh, thrift gigs here before you were yeah, signed yeah. to Def Jam. Yeah, You've yeah, been yeah. here for a couple for sure. of yeah, times yeah. in Kenya. Why is it? Why Kenya? I don't know, man. The one thing that really sticks out to me is the people, the way people treat each other here. Yeah, I really so love nice. it. Yeah, you guys are the nicest. Oh. I yeah. swear to God, you guys are the nicest. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, you guys are the nicest. Yeah. And and I'm, there's nothing better for us to be around than nice people because mm -hmm. we're constantly shoved into different people's faces and cameras and stuff like that. So we kind of get tired of people. Mm -hmm. But when we come here, we always feel like we're welcome and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. we just said, you know. Okay. And, the, and, the, and the Iverson tour. Mm -hmm. I brought it here you too. Brought you it guys here showed me the back in the love. day. So yes. Like, you know I mean? So are we still going to see more oh, of that sure. in other countries yeah, yeah. apart from Zimbabwe? Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. What are the things that you're looking at, you know, to do here in Kenya? There's so many things you can go we to. We were just Mombasa. we were just talking outside right uh, now. Just talking we're about that. <laughs> oh, we're talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. what are you yeah. thinking? We're trying to go to uh, Mombasa. Mombasa. Uh -huh. uh, we're Masai trying to... Mara. What's that? Okay, I didn't hear. It's that. Okay, where, you know the animals. You see lions. You see. But they have the lions. Yeah, we went to that. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, we went to that in the country, yeah. right? Yeah, we went to that. Uh huh. That's kind of boring for us. Oh, you like, we're young, animals, like, yeah, that's, that's like, that's like hours there. looking at animals. We've done that. Okay. Yeah, okay, what boring. looks fun to you, mm -hmm. Nasty? What's fun to me? It has to be a vibe. It has to be music. It has mm -hmm. to be something I've never done before. It cannot take a whole hour. Yeah. To get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, we okay. Don't like that. Yeah. You don't want to spend your time on, in traffic. No, no, no. Have you seen Mombasa Road? Do you know what yes, is Mombasa I've seen, Road? I've seen crazy. traffic out here. Uh -huh. I've seen traffic out here. It's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. it's crazier than yeah. That's not very no inviting, place. guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, it's crazy. But <laughs> there's no way we can close up the show without you guys doing Send Me Away. Please, come on, you guys know you can send oh, yeah, the invoice now. The part that everyone knows yeah. is the part that she sings. So I'm going to let her. Wow. I mean, you already have, you have oh, a junior, mic in your Junior, Junior, you don't want to do this? You have a mic in your hand. Come on, man. Don't you want to do it? Alright, let's go, let's go. Give, right. give the people what they want. Yeah, rolling, you come know, on. Roll with you it. The you the how did I part? You the how did I How did I Let's get it. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Guys, this is so much pressure. I did not expect to sing today. Let's do wow. it. Um, Some warm water if you want. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's so much time. Uh, okay, go again. How did I end up falling for you i find myself calling for yeah, you yeah, okay. into the dark i followed you when i shouldn't know this ain't the type of I go through. <laughs> send me. Are you guys are supposed to be yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. We have a terrible <laughs> birthday. Yeah, there we go. Send, send me. I'm just here away. snapping. I got you on the bed. Send me yeah. away. Send me away. Send me away. Wow. My favorite part. Oh. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're no. like a teacher. You're like, yeah. No, do you know? Yeah. Actually, fun yeah. fact. Like, uh -huh. I didn't come up with that. Uh -huh. He oh. sang that, like, uh -huh. in his way of singing. Of in a very terrible in a way. Very that you don't want to hear. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, it's actually, I always like it. To you, I like yeah. you. I like you. you. No, like, we uh -huh. had to use, like, oh, and I'm like, what? He's like, just cry. <laughs> oh, you just cry. No, no but I, I know what you did. I know what you did. You made the song cry, and we love it. There We're we here go. for it. Mm -hmm. It was three years. That's what we Three years of yeah. healing. <laughs> That's what we And thinking. Huh? Yeah. But yeah. thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for having us. This you know? Awesome. Okay, so just, fun. you know, let people know where they can find your new socials and what's popping, whether it's your new album. Yeah. Where oh, can yeah. people check it out? I'm at nasty underscore CSA on all my socials. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all of that. It's at nasty underscore CSA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah.
Okay. That was a nasty, yeah. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed the show, guys, right? Of I course, you know we love it so much. And thank no, you. she has to say yeah. her social yeah. stuff. What's your social stuff, baby? Girl? Oh, so, oh, so. Yeah, oh, so at yeah. Pauline <laughs> underscore say it's typically the same everywhere. Yeah. Literally everywhere. TikTok, Snapchat. There Instagram, go. Facebook. Mm, no, yeah. All right. yeah, yeah, All right. yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you so much coming. for coming through. It's been real, you know, Thank respectful you. man. Oh, that was awesome. a good one. That yeah, means what I'm going to do. See, I stood, I gave the ladies a chair and stuff, man. We come to the end of the show. Bye bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is Friday. Yeah. See you when you see us. Love. <laughs>